Hello, in this video, we're going to find the limit as h approaches zero of the square root of x plus h minus the square root of x, all divided by h times the square root of x times x plus h. Let's go ahead and carefully work through it. Solution. The strategy we're going to use is we're going to rationalize the numerator. Basically, we're going to multiply by one in a clever way. I'm gonna put a times here and we're gonna multiply by the square root of x plus h plus the square root of x. This is all divided by the square root of x plus h plus the square root of x. And what this does is it allows us to use the difference of squares formula in the numerator. Obviously, the only reason we're doing this is because if we plug in zero for h, we end up dividing by zero. So we have to take another approach. And so whenever you have like a sum or difference of square roots like this, this is usually a good approach. Recall the formula here tells us that if you have a minus b times a plus b, this is the same thing as a squared minus b squared. This is the famous formula known as the difference of squares formula. Let's go ahead and write down our limit again. So we have the limit as h approaches zero. And so our a here is the square root of x plus h. So when we square that, the square root goes away. So we just get x plus h minus, and then when we square the square root of x, we just get x. All of this is being divided by so we still have this h here. We have this square root with the x and the x plus h. And then we also have this other piece here. It's really easy to forget that bottom piece. Parentheses, square root of x plus h, and then plus the square root of x. So really easy to forget the bottom piece, so super important to include it. And so now the x is cancel. And so this is equal to the limit important to always write the limit sign until you actually plug in the zero. And we have h over all the stuff on the bottom. So it's h square root x parentheses x plus h then parentheses square root x plus h plus the square root of x with another parentheses. So big mess on the bottom. Boom, these go away. So finally this is equal to the limit as h approaches zero, one over all of this stuff, right? So we have the square root of x, parentheses, x plus h, then parentheses, square root of x plus h, plus the square root of x. Finally, we're at the point where we can actually plug in zero for h, because there's no issues. We're not dividing by zero or anything funny. When you plug in that value of zero, this is when you drop that limit sign. So we have one over. And let's see what happens here. If this is actually zero, we get x plus zero, so we just get x. We get x, x plus zero. So we get x squared and we have a square root. We have the square root of x squared. And then here we have zero for the h. So we're gonna get the square root of x plus the square root of x. So it's gonna be two square root of x. By the way, in all of this, uh, x is not zero. I should have said that at the beginning of the problem, but that is a given in this question. Uh, we're told here that x is not equal to zero. Okay, so this is equal to. So the square root of x squared, um, it depends on if x is positive or negative. So the square root of x squared is gonna be equal to the absolute value of x. So if x is positive, it's x. If x is negative, it's negative x. So I'm just gonna call it the absolute value of x. So it's one over the absolute value of x. And then here we have the two and the square root of x. Let's go ahead and write this in a nicer way. This is really one over two absolute value of x, square root of x. And so that would be the answer to this problem. So hopefully the video has helped you and you've learned a little bit of mathematics. Until next time, good luck.